Internet, we have a problem because you've been keeping secrets from me. I, I mean, I, I thought we had something going, Internet. I felt that we understood each other. And, and the other day, I discovered something. I, th I, thought, I, thought, I thought we knew everything about each other. I guess, it, I guess it should come as no surprise. I mean, other people know you too. What am I saying? I'm saying, dear Internet, I discovered what you did. And I like it. So a long time ago, I made this video called the box model, box sizing, and box shadow. And I showed you that you can kind of cheat the box model. You could, you could fake borders, I guess, by using box shadow. And it's kind of a fun little trick. In fact, I used it here <laughs> um, on the uh, Killing It With jQuery course website. I used it right here because um, you can see that I have this, this content uh, width, right? Everything is 360 pixels wide. And then when I get to this content well, I wanted this gray box to be outside of, like I wanted it to be bigger than everything else. But the content well that I had was constricting the width of it. And I didn't, I don't know, maybe it was just too lazy to just to code it to make it bigger. And so what I did is I actually used box shadow. You see the how it extends outside of the, uh, the actual div? how the, the gray feeling of it extends outside of the, the div. Those are box shadows right here. If I turn on this box shadow, that's the actual div it's in. There's no padding. It's just box shadow that's extending the, the, the visual feel of that box. It's kind of funny, actually. I was laughing to myself when I did it. Background pink, just to show you what's up. <laughs> so what I want to do today is show you another thing that I just discovered about box shadow that just like blew my mind. I thought that you couldn't do what I'm about to show you with CSS. I thought there was no way to do it other than like making like multiple elements and hacking and nesting and things like that. Let me show you what I just discovered. And you might have already known this, but I just, it's my channel and I want to talk about it. Gosh darn it. And so here we are. Okay. So there are four lengths that you add to the box shadow property. Four lengths in the value. What I mean by a length is like, you know, right here where it says one uh, zero pixels, right? So the first length is if I add 20, you can see that it's offset X. If I add negative 20, you see it's going to be going this way, right? So the first length or the first value, which we call them like the first value is um, offset X. The second one is offset Y. It goes uh, down 20 or you can go up 20. You put negative 20 on it. Okay. And the second one is called blur obviously and the third one is called spread now spread is something that is kind of calling it spread is really what limited my thinking because we have a, a value for spread in photoshop and what it does in photoshop is let me show you here so we have a 20 uh, pixel blur and i'm going to put like a 15 pixel spread on it what it does is it it do you see, let me see do you you kind of see that working it, it's just it's taking, you know, where does that blur start, right? And if you have a tw an 18 pixel spread, that means the blur does not start until after 18 pixels. So if I knock this uh, uh, blur down to zero, you can see that the spread is still there. It's just out 18 pixels. Does that make sense? So the blur will start, if I put the blur at 18 pixels, you'll see that the blur starts right on that edge. What I never, what I never knew about this sp spread property is that it's not, you shouldn't think of it as spread. You should think of it as size, right? And I did that just, when that, when that paradigm came to me, that this is actually not spread, you can look at this property on MDN, Mozilla's uh, docs for HTML and CSS and JavaScript, and, and it's called spread, spread radius. That's what they call it. And that like totally limited my thinking. But now I'm thinking of it as size. Interesting things can happen when you think of it as size. So let's go back here and let's just set up, let's call it zero, and we'll set up a regular kind of like, um, well, actually, let's, let's change this. Let's change the color a little bit. So let's, let's move it back to this blue that I had. and make the font colored. Now I wanna make the blur 10 and we'll offset it by like seven pixels. Okay, now how do you 
in CSS make a button stand off the page, right? If we look at, if we look at like material, they do a lot of buttons off the page. Material uh, design fab. All right, let's look at the buttons on the materialize um, whatever. Uh, what is this, a framework? You see like when I hover over this button, the, the box shadow grows. Now what's happening here, let's look at it. I'm getting really nerdy and into this because this is just kind of just really blew my mind this week. Okay, so let's look at it. We have this button and it's it's got the class of floating and let's look at the hover state of it. So you see how it, when I hovered over it, I'm gonna click this button, it's gonna get the hover, the, the box shadow grows. Let's see what's what's actually happening. So the normally is it's zero, two, two pixels down, five pixels blur, zero pixels spread. And then when you hover over it, it goes five pixels down, right? From two to five, 11 pixels blur, zero pixels spread, and the opacity changes a little bit, I guess. Okay, so we're, what we're doing is, let's go back to, <laughs> this is all crazy. Let's go back to the, bu the box shadow. Okay, so let me write a, a box shadow for the hover here. And I'll just basically copy it and do what they did which is which is to move it further away and to increase the blur. So let's say 17 and 20. So now this box shadow here should should grow. And this is this is how we get the illusion that this button is coming up toward you on the z axis coming toward you. But there there there's this thing that I discovered about the box shadow property this week, and I'm saying I discovered, I'm sure a lot of people knew about this, but like this is it's making me go crazy. That you can, that this, this spread here, if you think about it as size, you can think that, okay, that can actually have a negative value on it. So right here, where, <laughs> right here, let's just make this box shadow look better. Let's put negative 10 on it and then move it down 17. Okay, now you see how it comes in from the edges right there? Oh my life, that's just the gorgeous. And so let's make the hover a little bit more exaggerated version of that. Let's say negative uh, 20, and then we have to uh, add another 10 pixels onto this, I think, 27, and don't change the blur. Oh, wow, do you see what happened? The box shadow is now getting smaller and it should get lighter too. We should change this to like two or something. That's more realistic, right? And it would be even better is if we started, if we started translating this. So I'm gonna to to transform, translate. Um, let's do up like 10 pixels, so that, that it can get that feeling of coming towards us. Oh yeah, but that, see, we want to keep the shadow right here the whole time, see how it's moving up? I moved it up another 10 pixels, so I need to put it down, I need to translate it down, the box shadow another 10 pixels. So this should be better, oh yeah, wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That's a classy button. See how the, it's so realistic in, in the way that the box shadow behind it moves away, gets smaller, gets lighter, and the button itself is moving up. Now you can have a few things where the button's kind of getting like this herky-jerky moment right here when, when the target of your, uh, you know, is moving, it can be a problem. There's, way around, there's ways around that. For example, we can put a wrapper around this button target the wrapper, make the wrapper be the one that's making all this happen. I'm not gonna show you that, you guys can use your imagination. But I wanted to share this crazy like box shadow thing that I, I've been using box shadow for years, I never knew this, and so uh, that's got me going this week. Thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you next week. And keep on hacking, of course. Thank you for watching this awesome episode of Dev Tips, and guess what, we have if you you know are doing website stuff, you probably want to talk to people who are also doing website stuff, who are cool and fun, and we are awesome together. So what I'm talking about is the DevTips community. If you go to patreon.com/devtips, 
uh, you will find a community that supports this show by offering a few dollars, whatever you choose, for every episode that comes out. So, for example, this episode was sponsored by, it was supported by, it was enabled by the, the Patreon community. Now, there are certain levels of, you know, of, of uh, donation. So people who do donate get a lot of benefits like a monthly hangout. We have a Dev Tips chat. I do a Dev Tips podcast that's exclusive. Nobody else in the whole world knows. You guys also get to get these videos early. So people who are in the community are watching this video on Friday where everybody else, Monday. Anyway, so check it out. DevTips. Nope, not DevTips.com. What is it? Ah, patreon.com slash dev tips. Come join us because it's worth it. <laughs> what's up, dude? Uh, hey, what's up, website, internet? Hey, what's up, internet? We got, we got something to talk about today. Uh, 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 what do we want to talk about? Talk about, uh, talk about, talk about, okay. Um, Something about how you, okay. Internet, we have a problem because you've been keeping secrets. I guess it, I guess it should come as no surprise. I discovered what you did and I like it. That was weird, right? That's kind of a ramble. Like internet is like a, in a relationship with the internet. It's kind of weird. I look so blotchy. You guys want to see something cool? What's this? this is how I comb my beard in the morning. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Now, now we're ready to make videos. <laughs> oh, does that turn you on? Oh, yeah. Look at this. Did you guys know my beard goes one way? It, my beard, this is the direction of my beard. So like these hairs are much longer than these ones because they, they uh, comb under. I have a beard comb over. It's weird. Anyway, welcome to Dev Tips. This episode is, 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 is frustrating and exciting at the same time. It's frustrating because I'm, I, I, I didn't know something that is awesome for a very long time. And I recently discovered it and I'm going to share that with you in today's episode. It's about box shadows. Let's just do it. Let's just get into it. 